it's Ronald that we're trying to get hold of, and he's told us the following. We've got a four carbon. Have we got the caller on the line? Good evening. Hello. Hello How, are you evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. We've got uh, Good. We're just going to rush through this question. Four carbon carboxylic acid. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, and we've got a three carbon alcohol. Yeah. Three carbon alcohol. Yeah. And we're wanting to make es an ester. Are we yes. cool with that? Yeah. Okay, so what's a four carbon carboxylic acid? Let's choose an easy one. Four carbons. Then we must choose meth, eth, prop, but. Do you agree? Yes. So we're going to start with but and oic acid. Okay. Okay. What's yes. a three carbon alcohol? Three carbons for an alcohol. Let's that go. is a, a pro propane. Pro okay. Now it's not propane. Or propanol. Propanol. Very good. So we got prop and ol. So when we've got these two things, we're going to add them together to give us an ester. And what I want to show you is we've identified the two, uh, the butanoic acid and the propanol. And what we're going to do is get the, the name. So always start with the, uh, the alcohol. So it's propyl butano8. Okay. OK, let's draw the structure very quickly, and hopefully we can get it in. Uh, I just want to change my pen color. So we want prop. One, two, three. And then we're going to go to the ester bond, O, C, double O. And we're going to have four. One, one, two. I'm going to need to extend the page, and I'm going to turn the corner. OK? Is that OK? Just to fit it in. If you're running out of space in the exam, remember, you can turn the corner as well. It's not a problem. Now we're going to add in the hydrogens. So there's your... Remember to fill in all the hydrogens, making sure you've only got four bonds. This carbon has four bonds. Now look at this carbon. One, two, three, four. This one has got two at the moment. So we need an, another hydrogen there, hydrogen there. Two hydrogens, two hydrogens, and there we go. Make sure you can name it. The, the way we identify the ester is this is the functional group bit here. Okay? And okay. the part that's got the double bonded oxygen is your carboxylic acid. The part that's on this side is from the alcohol. So this was the alcohol, and this other part was the acid. Now, the other thing to remember when you're given this sort of question, they sometimes say to you, write the balanced equation. Please don't forget to draw in, if they ask you for structural formula, to draw in the structural formula of water. Because water is eliminated in this reaction. And so watch what we would do if we were drawing the product. We would say OH like that. And we would draw it at an angle because water is angular. Ronald, have you got that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for your question. I hope it has helped you to sort out the problem of esters. Esters are wonderful. And I hope that you can do them just as well. You probably are going to get one in the final exam. Okay, Ronald.